We see amazing stories of resilience in these ecosystems. Biology in general is unbelievably resilient. It has to be. Things are constantly changing. It has to respond. It has to be able to adapt. We've seen time and time again in areas where we make the right choices that these ecosystems come back in the Philippines, places where they've implemented marine protected areas and we're able to enforce those protected areas. You've seen completely degraded reef systems come back. There's natural coral recruitment. You see big fish come back. You see giant clams come back. These systems will bounce back. It's just that we have to make the right choices to give them that opportunity. I think the question should be framed not really as to whether corals and coral reefs can bounce back, but whether or not we're gonna take the responsibility to give them that opportunity. It's on us, really, it's not them, it's on us. And so if we continue on the trajectory that we're currently on, it's not a good fate for coral reefs. But if we can get the narrative going and, and put pressure on decision makers and policy makers to cut carbon emissions, put some legislation in place, I think we have a really good window of opportunity to give these ecosystems some breathing room that they need to recover.